right, so I'm back. Um, my game crashed when I looked at the pamphlets, so I'm just not gonna look at them. Let's talk to Ben over here. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to I do thought... something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl. Oh, but here we go. It. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? What? Okay, okay. Wait, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What, what? is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ugh. I don't know. I guess you've got your own problems. Look, don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna get back to this. All right. I really don't know. I don't know what to tell Ben. What about you, Bree? What's up with you? Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. That is so true. <laughs> on the same team. Everyone needs Lee. Uh, I don't really want to talk to her, to be honest. Good luck. Thanks. Maybe I should go check on Krista and Vernon. They're taking a while just to grab some medicine. Like, Kenny and uh, Bree plus me and, and Molly, we had to be out there for... Like, we actually left the building... And we made it back, but Krista and Vernon. Shit. Uh oh. Vernon must be trapped in there. All right. Come on, zombies. So what? What? Yeah, I dropped them all. <laughs> I missed one shot, but still, I dropped them all. Do you not do you not recognize me, Krista? Why did it take her so long to recognize they me? Into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Uh. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay. You get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. All right. What's this? No tape inside. So do we need to find tapes? Let's look in here. I don't think there's... Wait, it was propped open a little bit. Well, she must have been a patient here. And what's this? A tape. All right, let's uh, pop this sucker in here and watch the movie. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. All right. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. 
I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Mm -mm. Anna, you don't That's have a messed choice. up for real. Now if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. That's, oh my goodness, the poor woman. I can't even Damn, imagine. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We got to keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should oh, search. Oh, Can the one Molly out? was beating up. That she didn't fully kill. Ah, oh, okay. Lee, here we go. We gotta do everything. <sighs> We've gotta do everything. There's that locker. Which I'll probably have to take care of when I come back. I probably should have looked at the classroom a little more thoroughly to see if there is a combination. Ugh. All right. I'll do that when I come back. There could be something useful. All right. Oi! What the heck? <laughs> it looked like the TV just jumped off the shelf to protect me. Thank you, Telly. I know I don't watch you a lot. I'm not a big TV person, but thanks. Oh, I'm Batman. <laughs> I think I have to say that every time. There he is. All right, dude, you get in the boot. Huh. All right, well, let's search your dead body. Hey, there is another tape. That's what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. Logan said the safe code was only four numbers wait the locker that looks like a lo like a lock Shit. combination and the locker I think it said Logan didn't it let's check I mean we gotta pass the locker anyway Logan. this must have been his locker all right let's bust this puppy open. Oh, another tape. Oh, hey, we probably needed to get it anyway. All right, word up. Let's go back to the nurse's office. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe 
one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. All right. Yeah. I'm guessing that's when the doctor turns. I don't think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> What's up with her? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for me. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Okay, so it wants me to check out the third tape. Is it really necessary? What What could it have on the tape that we haven't already seen? Listen, as fun Isn't as that can, Molly? Stop this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or uh. she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? So it was personal. I'm guessing her sister died. Well, shit. And it was basically his fault for not continuing their little arrangement. That's crazy. Oh. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Really? I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Molly. I'm just kidding. Oh, we don't have time for jokes. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Forget it. We got what we came here for. Let's just go. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Whatever. I mean, I understand. Where's the hatchet? Didn't we put a hatchet there? Oh, Jesus! Chip. Ben! By those bells. Is that better not be the hatchet in your hand? Jenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, oh my did I, god. Did that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, shit! Oh my god. I'm telling you, this dude is a jinx. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Wait, I didn't shoot. 
wasn't me. I'm going, kid. No. Oh, nice job, Clementine. And she was a lot faster than Lee was. They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. The healthy babbling. Yes, it is. We talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you what mean? What did we... I didn't take... Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, when they attacked. And that's when Duck... He's getting on my boat after what he did. He's out of his motherfucking mind. You hear me, shitbird? You we'll sort it out later. Okay, we need to go. Rot. Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do, Clementine. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I abstain. I'm not choosing. You stop. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh! Now can we go? Damn yes. Up. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's not gonna hold. Um... Back upstairs. Okay, thanks. I'm literally like the the pillar of this group. They wouldn't be able to do nothing without me. All right, back it up. Huh? Back it. Huh? I. Let's mow these people down. All right, over you go. And, uh, oh, okay. I didn't even process that I had clicked. 
get lost, Bucko. Good night. Come on. Yes, I'm it's okay. Right. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Go. I still hear the Zambies. Come on, let's go! Oh, oh, Hold on, ben. I've got you. Oh, my God. Ben, climb up. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Quit fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Wait. You want me to kill Ben? Oh, there's no... Well, I mean, he is a jinx, but Clem made it clear that she doesn't want him to die. And my my priority is Clem. I, I don't want to... Oh, but what if... No, 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 pull him up. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, Almeida. don't tell me Almeida's dead. No! Is he dead? Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Hey, back already? Oh, he's fine. Okay. We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Okay, that's good. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened? Are you really going to hold that over Let me? someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Sure, Vernon, what you need? I'm sorry about Bree. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now better just get used to it yeah that does seem to be what how to talk to me things are i know you care about clementine anyone can see that and i know you want what's best for her but this plan of yours putting everyone on a boat with no destination do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe because i don't so i want to make you an offer and what's that offer? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me. Oh. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. 
safer than she will be. I need to think about it. I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe. You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Oh, goodness. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, well, I you're not staying on the boat? For everything. It's been fun. So that's it then? So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're you just going to leave? Yeah. I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford. And I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. All right. Word up. Time to talk to Clementine. About what? I don't know. Probably about the decision to go with Vernon. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I, I know. know. What are we going to Thanks. do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Um, we're going to split off. You and me, we're going to go our own way, just like we agreed. We don't need anyone else. It's just going to be the two of us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Uh, he feels guilty. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave I mean, not gonna lie, I've been thinking he's a jinx. Uh, there may not I'd be like time. To, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. She just wants her parents, which totally understandable. But who knows if her parents are even still in Savannah? Because if I were the mother of a little girl like that, during the apocalypse, I would go through so much just to get back to her. So... <sighs> Clementine? Clementine? Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, please, no. Oh, it's so bad. Hello, girl. I know you're desperate to find your parents, but dang. You can't just run off like that. Or what if the dude on the radio... Because they did show Lee putting down the walkie-talkie before sitting down. Oh, man. Him? 
Oh, why does it give us the option to look at that? Uh... I no no did he get I saw blood Did he get bit? Oh my god. Oh he did. Oh my god. Oh my god, Lee. Lee. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't I gotta safe. show them. Lee? I gotta show them. Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is. Well, we don't know that he just Vernon. took her because he said to take my time. What do you need from us? I need help. Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. Aw, thank you, Amita and seven. Krista. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Kenny. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, but I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Yes. There's been plenty of times when you ain't been. What do you mean? I've saved your life so many times. Clementine is family. Come on. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now, hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't honestly lay a finger on it. You hear? Yep. Honestly, okay, he's been a jinx. See if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this, with only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? I guess this is how it's going to have to be, you know. Oh, we're checking Vernon's hidey hole. With all the cancer... Where's all the food? Oh, they're not there, are they? What if Vernon did take her? No, but he said I could take my time, so... I don't know. I don't think it's Vernon. I do not think it's Vernon. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Oh my 
करना है This is this is so this is so much insanity. I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, all the zombies outside. There's so many. Oh my god. That's Clem. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! I don't think it's Vernon. Who is this? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? To be continued. Oh, okay. Wow, it looks like I'm in the majority for this one. So, did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 74% of players killed him. I mean, we're not going to leave him in the attic. He's one, he's a zambi. Two, it's like, I don't know, I felt, it felt super cruel to just leave that little boy there. Um, did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of players were rational and honest. I mean, I think that that was just the best approach. Especially with all those old people. Um, did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 73% of players brought her. Of course we did. Did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 66% of players pulled him up. Of course. And honestly, it's all because of Clementine, because I was so tempted to let him <laughs> to let him fall to his death. Uh, the bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of players showed the bite. Honestly, it's just, we had to be honest. 13% uh, of players got Omid, Kenny, and Krista to go with them. Oh, so if I just said Kenny deal with him, maybe Ben could have come with us. Oh my god, look at all the different combinations. Either just Ben come with us, Ben and Kenny, uh, Omid, Ben, Kenny, and Krista, just me alone, just me with Kenny, uh, Ben, Omid, and Krista. So that could have happened if I told Kenny to deal with it. But then there's also a, a way for all five to go together, so I don't know. And then it could just be me with Omita Krista, because they are very much a package deal. Well, shit! That was it for episode four of The Walking Dead. If you like this video, make sure you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to my channel. But until the next video, see ya!